The breakdown of the Phillips curve. By the 1970s, the Phillips curve had broken down with seemingly no stable or inverse relationship. It was possible to have several inflation rates associated with a single unemployment rate. For example, at an inflation rate of 6%, unemployment rates of 0, 4, 6, 10, and 14% were all possible. To resolve this, American economist Milton Friedman argued that there was a vertical long-run Phillips curve and a series of short-run curves, each associated with a different expectation of future inflation. So, what caused the breakdown of the Phillips curve? As predicted, if the economy starts at point A with 6% unemployment and 0% inflation, a short-run fiscal stimulus would move the economy to point B. Unemployment would fall, but inflation would rise. At some point, a phenomenon called money illusion, where behaviour is irrational and responds to nominal money values rather than real values, would break down and the economy would move to point C. Unemployment rises back to 6%, but unfortunately, inflation is now in the system. Any further attempt to reflate the economy leads to accelerating inflation as the economy moves to point D, and then E as money illusion breaks down.